Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited, like super excited, um, because I, one thing I love and I cannot resist is a mystery box. Like just not knowing what I'm going to get and hoping that I get like something that is amazing at a very low price, you know, versus me buying it directly and knowing that I'm buying it and it's expensive. Um, that is part of the charm. That is part of the allure. That's part of me loving mystery boxes. Um, so I'm hoping I can showcase a little bit more uh, mystery boxes here on this channel. But today, it's a really good one if you like to sew. I really love the creative process that is sewing, like making up your pattern, you know, just figuring all that out, which that in itself, trying to make a pattern for something can be very challenging. Um, there's so many YouTubers that specialize in that and I will watch their videos to create patterns. Um, very recently, the latest thing I did was I created some dresses for my puppies um, and I want to create more things. I've done handbags, I've done little makeup bags, I've done reusable makeup wipes, um, I've done ornaments. I mean, really with sewing, you can really do anything. So with that in mind, today I have a fabric mystery box. So this is from Fabric Wholesale Direct. They are, I mean, I found them online. I've heard good things about them, their fabrics and all that. And they actually have a, what they call a scrap box, but really looking at the reviews, most people said there's there wasn't any piece in there that was less than a yard. So, I mean, that's kind of what I, you know, when I go and get fabric, it's either a yard or two yards most of the time that I'm purchasing. So it's plenty to create, you know, for me, like doggy clothes or bags or this or that and piece different things together. So I'm excited to see everything that comes in this box. Um, Again, I, I read a lot of the reviews on their website of people that purchased these boxes. And, you know, there was some people are like, you know, I really love the selection, the assortment. It gives me a great idea uh, of what their fabric quality is because I get to see a diverse uh, sampling of fabrics and not necessarily buying samples. Um, other people I know were like, well, it would be great if you labeled the fabric because I'm not great at looking at a fabric and knowing what it is exactly. And I mean, I'm on that boat, like just by looking at a fabric, I can't really tell if it's, you know, the 100% cotton or there's something else in there. Uh, I mean, I can get an idea and I can do research and figure it out. But really with what I'm doing with the fabric is just creating stuff for myself, for my puppies, for gift giving. So that's what I want to do with this box. I want to use the fabric that they sent to do some doggy clothes, maybe some clothes for myself. And my goal this year is if I can do it, if I can be consistent and stay on track. Uh, for the holidays, for Christmas, I want to make everyone their gift. So I have several ideas of what I'll be doing, but um, 
I want to use a lot of the fabric that comes in this box to do so. So for this box, let me show you, it's pretty big. There's, so I ordered the 20 pound box, which is their biggest box. Um, I did get $10 off coupon by signing up, like providing your email, you sign up for their um, emails. So it'll give you $10 off your purchase. So this box, the 20 pound box is $79.99. However, I did get, let's see, I did get $10 off and it looks like shipping was $7.99. So really I saved on shipping and a few, like a couple dollars off the price of the box. So I ended up paying $77.98. Now granted, this is a 20 pound box. They do have um, a 10 pound box and a 15 pound box. And I believe the 10 pound box is $49.99. So if you were really wanted to just try it out, you could use the $10 off coupon that they give you when you sign up for their emails. And so $49.99 would take you down to $39.99 plus shipping. So it could be a great deal depending on what's inside this box. So let's open it because I'm so excited to find out what fabrics they sent us. Okay, so this is a lot. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's take out what's in here and try to see. I am of the mind that if I paid $79 for it, wait, how much was it? $77.98. So $78, let's say. If there is 10 yards in here of good, decent, like I will definitely use fabric, then that's okay. Because normally when I go shopping for like a certain fabric, um, like it really, the pricing depends. It's really, it can start at like $4 a yard all the way to like 12, $15 a yard. So I was like, okay, well, what's a good price point? You know, if there's 10 yards in here at $7, then that's how much I would have paid somewhere else. And that would make it be like, okay, well, you know, I spend, seven dollars a yard and it's 10 yards in here i have a feeling there's gonna be more and if there's more then it's totally worth it because fabric can be expensive especially fabric that you know you want to have in stock or i have a stash and this is what i do to organize my fabric i cut up boxes like of all the stuff that are that I get the shipping boxes I cut them up and I do these little so you can even see the Amazon tape on there but I roll up my fabric like this and then just pin it and then I put it on a shelf that I have in my craft slash office closet um, and this really helps because for a while I had it like rolled up and folded in a tub, but that doesn't really help because I can't see the fabric that I have. And I ended up buying more of the same stuff or more of the similar fabric because I didn't realize I had it. So this way I have it so that I can always see it. It's, um, it's like standing up on the back wall and then the front of that I have some that are laid down but I can see the fabric and another thing I can pretty much tell how much I have 
if I'm just looking at it like this real quick. So it's really helpful. It's my way of organizing fabric for myself. And that works for me. Um, if y'all have some different awesome way that you organize your fabric, let me know. Um, this has been far better than, like I said, a tub that I had just everything in there. So without further ado, I know I've been blabbing, blabbing, blabbing. So let's get to the fabric and see what they sent us. Okay, first things first, they sent us this orange. It's very orange. Um, I guess it's like satin, sateen or something to that effect. And... It's very long. It's like super long. So definitely we'll use this. Oh yeah. And they send us two pieces. They send us two pieces of this one. So let's look how big this, oh, this one's bigger, I can tell. I'm trying not to step on my pup because she's down here because she can't leave me wherever I go she goes oh wow this is this is a lot of this fabric like there's definitely a yard but it's like long, like very wide, very wide. So I appreciate that. Ooh, I can make my dog like a pumpkin for, Christ for Christmas, for Halloween. I can make her a pumpkin costume. <gasps> Whiskey, you want to be a pumpkin? She, she don't want any part of this, she says. Not until I do something and then she'll be like, look at me. Uh, okay, so now we have a white. Where it's like a cream, like a cream color. And it's, you know, you can kind of see through it. I'm not very good at saying what the fabric is. So if you know, it's like, oh, fabric number two is this, Vani. Great, thanks. Let me know. So this is like a yard and a half. And again, very long because I have holding it up here. And it's all the way to my feet. I mean, granted, I'm not very tall five three on a good day um so i mean it's it's white it's a white fabric this will look so nice like maybe like a shirt that you can layer like a blouse I will definitely come up with projects to do to use this fabric. Let's see. Ooh, this is like, this is definitely a knit. What is this? It has a tag. I don't know. It has a tag, but it doesn't tell me anything. There's a barcode. It's black. It's like a knit. It's heavy. So, this reminds me of some skirts that I've seen, like the material, some skirts that I've seen on, you know, ready to wear apparel. So this is about two yards and that's how wide it is, which is like when I go buy fabric, this is normally how, you know, wide. Oh, I see there's like white stuff on it. 
I think it's just shipping. Definitely will look at this to see this just where they stored they were storing it i'll have to wash it and see how how it comes out okay Ooh. hmm okay so this is very like a stiff fabric so probably like you fold upholstery this is a fun pattern look at that Fun pattern. Look at that. I like it. Like, I have some cushions that I was gonna try to cover for outside. And I feel like this would be fun. There's plenty of fabric. Heritage Way block prints. I can work with this. I can definitely work with this. I like it. I like this print. And like I said, it's a stiffer material. So definitely more for like repolstering that type of a feel to it. But I love this pattern. It's so nice. Okay, so we have a toweling fabric here in yellow um i do buy this fabric because uh, like i said i've made reusable makeup wipes and i find that when you do like one side um toweling fabric and the other side like either a decorative or like a f um soft type of fleece type of thing um, you get a really good use because on uh, one side like this helps to exfoliate when you're doing uh, when you're wiping off either makeup or um, using some cleansers or anything like that obviously don't rub too hard but the toweling side helps a gentle exfoliation and I really like that um, also you can make like kitchen towels really cute um just hand towels that you might want to use or use for as decorative ones um so yeah i like this i really like this and it's nice and big y'all like again this is how wide it is and then easily like a yard and a half maybe and toweling fabric is not I mean it's not cheap so this is really good I'm gonna have to start piling things somewhere else and put it over here um let's see Ooh, this is cool because I wanted to get some of this fabric and it was pricey so see that this is like a uh, waterproof material um, think about what the material uh, for backpacks is sometimes used for this so what I want to do with this is make a doggy raincoat for my whiskey girl she needs one but I need a lightweight one and this is perfect and I love this purple color uh look oh this is great this is awesome love this I get to experiment with it so this would be definitely getting used and of course, line it with like something soft on the inside. Maybe we'll find something here. But liking this. Great one. And it has a little kind of texture, little squares. So I like that. And again, that's not cheap. So I'm glad we got that. Ooh, half hiccups.
two pieces. Oh, yeah, this is definitely like a yard. And look, it goes, it's like an ombre. What? This kind of reminds me of the 13 going on 30 dress that Jennifer wears, the color scheme, right? No, maybe, I don't know. So this is nice. Again, see-through, sheer. Another ombre type of, oh, this is, would be nice to use. So I'm kind of debating on my Halloween costume. One of the options I'm thinking about is uh, a, wood, a woodland fairy. And I think this would work. It's another ombre effect, but right? if I were to do like something like that or ooh maybe I think this is this would work okay let's look at this this is just a green like cotton type of it's a it's like a yard of green fabric which I think Again, nice base, getting nice basic colors and not getting like a whole bunch of prints is really nice too because then you can use it, you know, on so many things. So I appreciate something like this. I can do so much with a green. Um, okay, so this is like a white t-shirt type of material. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, but look, it has this. Oh, it's it comes off. Oh, it comes off. It comes off. Yay. So I just need to wash this to get rid of those stains. I think it's like just where they had it stored. But this would be nice for a shirt. It's super soft. Very, very soft. White. Like I said, it's like a jersey t-shirt type of material. Very stretchy, so definitely not like a shirt like this, like a t-shirt like this. It would be like a softer and just hangs more, you know what I'm saying? Wow, this is another like, I've seen this type of print on dresses, on skirts, um, and has some weight to it so definitely again another knit and there's quite a bit of material in here easily like two yards and again that's that's the print not I mean it's not like my favorite print color combination it's very Christmassy to me <laughs> you know but hey, maybe I find something useful that, or y'all suggest something that I can use this. It's really cool. I love this color, look. So pretty. Again, it's like a satiny finish. This, oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. I love this color. This is a great one. I don't know what I'll use it for, but definitely beautiful. Okay, I think we've gotten like our money's worth already because we've gotten like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen different fabrics. Well, the orange was doubled, so I'll say 12. 12 different fabrics so far, and they've all been at least a yard, which is what we were hoping for. So let's keep going, because there's more in this box. Um, here's this fabric, 
and this is stretchy. This is nice. Wow. Let's examine it. Again, this is like um, like a soft t-shirt material, stretchy, um, and it's very long. <laughs> and this is how wide it is. So again, another great one. I love the color. Love, love, love the color. This is this is gonna be fun. Like imagine a little sundress of this one. That'd be cute. Combine some pattern fabric in there. And then maybe make whiskey a little sundress. I love it. Okay, so let's, ooh. This is a lot of fabric. Like, here's the thing though. Do they, like this is 20 pounds of fabric, but if you put this one alone, it's gonna weigh a lot. So, like this is a, a knit, a nice heavy knit. It's like a tan color. Again, for my wood Lynn Fairy costume. I think I have more than enough here. And then layer that other one that, other fabric, what? Oh yeah, there's plenty of fabric in this one. It's very wide, right? I think, I think this would work. I can make it work. There's a little stain over here. I don't know if you can see it there. But again, once I wash the fabric, we'll see what stays stained and what I can, what I can like take off, clean up. So, and with the amount of fabric this has, that will be fine. Okay, ooh, this one's yellow. Oh, this is foam. This is neat, y'all. So this is yellow, like very, thin like foam this is awesome and it's big look at that you can definitely do costumes out of this if you wanted to keep more of a like structured um this will help so you can always use this like I can always use this as like underneath for certain areas of, let's say like your bra cups. If you're doing bra cups, you can line it with this. If your fabric's gonna cover it anyway, it would be, it's, it would be nice, it'd be great. And this is a lot, a lot. And it's not cheap fabric. That is, that's not cheap, let me tell you. And for that amount, wow, wow. This is a beautiful color, like pinkish blush. See, it's not as pink as my nails. It's like more blush. This I can definitely do so many things with. It's quite a bit of fabric and it's so soft. Look at that, really good. I love this. I need to organize everything to roll it up in my little cardboard backings. But this is so good. I like this. Okay, we're getting to the bottom. We're getting to the bottom. Okay, this is more white fabric. This is a bit thicker. It's still like stretchy, um, but it's a bit thicker thicker than are the previous white fabric, white knit like a t-shirt that we saw. The other one was softer. This, very stretchy. So, I don't know what I'll use this one for. I'm sure I'll find a project for it. 
maybe to line my my raincoat that'd be cute right a white inside or i don't know because then whiskey's hair will be all over and you'll be able to see it a lot but yeah this definitely a good big piece what in the world velvet yellow velvet huh this would be a great cape wouldn't it black stuff on the inside but i can cut that off there's like some adhesive here or something so they definitely used this for some i don't i don't know for what but there's a lot of fabric in here that i can definitely use even with those defects right there there's a lot in here that I can use. Look at that, okay? I will say this is a heavy fabric, so so again, if they're, what they're selling is 20 pounds, like this takes up a big chunk of that weight. And again, that is what they're selling you, fab, it's, that's what they call it, fabric scrap box. And again, 20 pounds of fabric scraps. This to me, like this size is not scrap, Scraps. like I'm used to like you know the little scraps that we have sometimes they sell them to you and it's little squares to make quilts and that kind of stuff um I like the sampling of fabrics that it wasn't all just one type of fabric um I did find something that some jewels in here others I think I'm gonna use this just like linings for things, um, that type of stuff. But was it worth $77, $78? Um, I mean, I think it is because even at like $5 a yard, if you can find that and good quality fabric, I mean, that's, that's hard to find for, I mean, at least where I'm at, it's very hard to find. Um, and all of these are really good quality. They're, you know, there's some that are a little bit stained, but as I started rubbing on them, I think it's because of where they were um, stored. Um, but as soon as I've washed them, I'm pretty sure it'll come off. And whatever doesn't come off, I can cut around. That's not a problem. Um, like this one. So, I mean, we seen different fabrics in here, 18. So, and some of these were way over a yard or two yards, but let's say we had 18 fabrics at $7, pretending we only got one yard of each. Excuse me while I do math on my calculator because I can't. Uh, 18 different fabrics, $7 a yard, if we only have a yard of each, is $126. We have way more than a yard on quite a bit of these. So it's, it's a good price point if you're not picky on what you're going to get. If you already know you just want specific things, then just go to their website, um, Fabric fabricwholesaledirect.com just go to the website and pick what you want they have very good pricing actually for a lot of their um, fabrics and they do have um, some items that are on sale um, they have a good assortment so I think this was a good buy for me it was a good mystery box I just won the excitement of getting mystery boxes and trying to find what will be inside and finding some good stuff i i found some really good things in here and i'll definitely use that so my plan is to make you know a playlist of a continuation of fabric from um fwd's mystery box so that y'all know if i'm working on a project and it came from this box so i hope you will tag along with me on that little adventure <laughs> we'll see what we create and if it's functional um 
And if you have any suggestions on what each of these fabrics could be used for, or you know exactly, it's like, oh, that fabric looks like it's, I don't know, a linen, or that looks like it's a broad cloth, or, you know, that type of stuff, let me know. But also if you have suggestions on what to do with the different fabrics. Uh, like I said, I have several things already in mind, like the raincoat for whiskey, um, maybe making a pumpkin costume for her out of the orange fabric paired with the black. Um, maybe using some of the tan fabric paired together with that purple ombre fabric and green ombre fabric to make my Halloween costume if I decide to go with a wood woodland fairy. I'm still trying to decide what I want to be. And then maybe using some of these things for the Christmas presents that I want to make for people. So, I mean, the, that toweling fabric can go a long way. So I can definitely use it to make some, you know, little kitchen towels or again, some reusable makeup wipes to make us gifts. Um, there's so many ideas and I'll do some research too to see what I can use these fabrics for. Um, but I would greatly appreciate your suggestions on what this can be used for. And as always, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like buttons and the little bell notification for whenever I upload new content, you are uh, the first to know. Um, other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.